Okay, hello guys. Today we are going to see the problem of hacker rank. It's a basically a exam question came in Mount Blue. So we will solve a few questions from the hacker rank sample exam of the Mount Blue. So this is the description page. Let's continue it. So there will be a two coding question. We can choose any languages. C, C, plus plus Python, Java, multiple language, programming language are there, and one multiple choice question will be there. Okay, fine. So let's put our email. Continue. Okay, the first question came here, just find a number. Okay. So, okay, the uh, question is been given that given an unsorted array of n elements, find if the element k is present in the array or not. Complete the uh, find number function in the uh, editor below. It has two parameters. Okay, it will have two parameters an array of integer array denoting the element in the array and integer k denoting the element to the array, uh, search in array. Okay, so basically we have to return the string yes or no denoting if the element is present in array or not. So, so the problem is okay. Let's see the sample input. Okay, the length of the array is five. So element are one, two, three, four, five. And we need to search the element one. So one is present. Yes, it is printing one. Yes. Okay. So in second sample input is three number size of array is three. So element at two, three, one, five is not present. So no. Okay. Let's solve this question. It's a quite easy question. So basically, all the things is been given. We have to write only the function here. So basically, uh, let's first iterate the array. So for that, I will use the for loop print i equal to Zero. We will start from the zero index. I is less than equal to array size. Okay. So array dot size is the size of the array. So we will increment the loop. So. It is telling that if that uh, element is there, so it will return here. For that, we will check if the element is present in array or not. So, let if I no, array, uh, if it is present in this index, so it will be equal to k. So, k is here the um, element which need to be find on the array so if it is present so it will directly return here or else after um, searching if the element is not present in the array so we will come out from the loop and it will return No. No, 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 okay. So let's run our uh, code. So program compiled uh, successfully. So let's see the all the test case. So all the test uh, test case is been passed. So. Let's move to the next question. Next. Okay. 
So the next question has been given that odd number question. So given two integer L and R, printed all the odd number present L and R. Okay, fine. So an integer L denoting the left part of the range and integer R denoting the right part of the range. So okay, so there will be a two parameter basis L and R. So basically output will be the function must return the array of integer denoting the odd number between L and R. This is printed to STD out by the log. Okay. So basically this is the given range. Input will be the given range. So L will be the starting range and R will be the finishing range. Okay. So in this we have to find which all odd numbers are in there that we have to print. So fine. So they yeah, they have a second. Okay, quite nice. Okay, let's do. So for that, let's iterate from the uh, beginning uh, beginning to end of the L and R. So for that, I will use the for loop for. And I equal to L, which will be the starting range, and it will be less than equal to R, uh, and it will be increment every time. So that's why uh, I plus plus. Okay. So for odd numbers, so uh, if the number is not divisible by two, then it is an odd number. So if I is percent. If I percent two, it will return the reminder. So if it is divisible, so it will return the reminder zero always. It will return the integer. Okay, greater than zero. So if it is not equal to zero, that means we have to. Okay, so here we have to store the number for that. I will use the vector vector int so result. So I will store in the vector int result all the odd numbers. So this result dot I will use the pushback function. Of the vector, so it will push the odd number. Okay. So after that, I will return the error. Return the vector means result. Okay. Yes. U L T. Fine. So let's check whether the code is. Okay, I'm not. Okay, program compiled successfully. So let's run the test cases. Okay, all the test cases pass. Okay, so this program is quite well. So let's submit it. Uh, let's go to the next question. So here the third question is, which of the following sorting algorithm has the best option? So pick. Runtime compile. Okay, so I think so. Two runtime compile. It will be heap sort. We know all. So let's continue. Okay, all the three questions have been done. Okay, let's end the test. 